Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss how to create and complete a transmittal in RMS. Now let's get started. This video's training objectives will cover how to complete a transmittal, how to complete a transmittal that has been returned for corrections, as well as how to complete a resubmittal. The transmittal log maintains the record of submittals created and their statuses. All submittals must be made using a transmittal form or ENG form 4025. From the contract menu, click on the submittals tab and click on the transmittal log module. We begin in the draft transmittal section. The list of transmittals corresponding to any of these categories can be seen by simply clicking anywhere in the corresponding blue tiles. We can see the transmittals in pending government receipt, transmittals in review, pending contractor acknowledgement, and completed transmittals for this particular contract. The first step in creating a submittal is, is the initiation of the transmittal form ENG form 4025. This is the transmittal document that identifies the items that are being submitted. Click on add to initiate the 4025 and select the items to be submitted. The specification sections which have unsubmitted items will display. To remove the filter and to see all specification sections, check the all sections box. Select the sections to which the items need to be submitted, then click next. All the items associated with the selected specifications that must still be submitted are displayed. These include those items that have been previously submitted but were not accepted or approved by the government and therefore require submittal. To remove the filter and to see all the submittal items, check the all submittal items box. A transmittal can contain more than one item, but all items in the transmittal must have the same classification. Once the first item is selected, only those items with the same classification can be picked. Select all items to include the transmittal, then click Next. Complete the transmittal number in the subsequent data entry screen. RMS automatically inserts the next item number in sequence. However, the number can be manually entered if desired. The number 0 will display for new transmittals in the item number extension. RMS will automatically insert the next number in sequential order for a retransmittal. Although this can be changed manually, it is recommended not to. Then click Finish. The transmittal form has now been drafted. It can be viewed at any time by clicking the 4025 report widget. However, before it is ready to submit, make sure the editable fields are completed. Attach the actual documents that make up the item and notify the government if any items are marked with variation. The number of copies should already have been input by your USACE representative. However, you should still verify that it is correct. Refer to Section 013300, Submittal Procedures, Paragraph Quantity of Submittals. The item's classification was entered in the submittal register. It should not be changed here to avoid having items with different classifications on the transmittal. RMS has automatically inserted the QC code A on all items. While permitted to change it by clicking on the QC code box and selecting another code, using any other code may result in the submittal being returned for corrections. Your quality control manager should have reviewed the submittal and its inclusion on the transmittal, ensuring that the item conforms to the contract. If it is not in conformance, do not include it on the transmittal unless you are deliberately submitting a non-conforming item as a variation. If that is the case, place a check mark in the variation box for the item. Any request for variation must be accompanied by an explanation of how it varies, why the variation is equal to or better than what the contract calls for, and the cost impact. Variations should not increase the cost of the contract. The most important piece of the transmittal is and are the actual documents that make up the items. Click on the Attachments button in the right hand most column to add a document package containing the submittal documents, then click on Add. These attachments do not usually need to be signed. In this demonstration, we will add a document from our file system by clicking the Add button and choosing the Select from File System option, then double clicking our document to add the attachment. After all the attachments in the document package have been added, click on the Submit for Review to complete the document package, then click on the Back button to save. Repeat these steps if additional document packages are needed. The status of the attached document package should now indicate in review. Click on the back button to return to the transmittal screen and repeat for each item on the transmittal form. After attaching all applicable submittal items and completing the document packages, the 4025 must be signed before transmitting the finished submittal package. The signature on the 4025 can be applied either electronically using RMS or manually outside of RMS. When using RMS to create the 4025, the 4025 documents can also be signed in RMS. Click on Select and Include Digital Signature to enter the title of a person signing the 4025. This is usually the QC Manager. Then click on the Create and Digitally Signed 4025. You will be prompted to enter your PIN or password. The digital signature of the logged in user will be added to the 4025 and the transmittal and its contents will be transferred to the government. Ensure that this person is authorized to perform this action to avoid the transmittal being rejected. Then click the Back button to return to the transmittal log screen. Now we are going to discuss the steps involving how to complete a return for corrections transmittal. There may be times when the government finds reason to return a transmittal. When this happens, the transmittals return from transmittals in review to draft transmittals. The transmittal status will indicate draft, not completed by contractor. Before continuing, meet with your USACE representative to find out what corrections need to be made to the transmittal. With the resubmittal, the previous attachments are now marked as not complete. 
Click on the attachments box to revise and complete the attachments before resending the transmittal. Double click on the package to open the attachments document package. Make required corrections then click on submit for review to complete the document package. Click on the back button to continue editing any additional document packages that are associated with that item. Complete the revision by signing the 4025. This action will resend the revised transmittal to the government. When the government has completed its review, the transmittal is then returned to pending contractor acknowledgement. Take note of the QA code assigned to each item and comments that may have been entered in the government remarks to contractor block. Type in a date in the contractor receive column or click on the grid icon to open a calendar from which to select a date. Note that the item receiving the G code is outstanding in the submittal register. While the items receiving A code are complete, by the end of the contract the status of all submittal items should be complete. While your QC code should always be A, the government has several other codes it uses to indicate the item's acceptability and resubmittal status. For a more detailed list of submittal codes and their definitions, please refer to the RMS documentation link, which will be provided in the description box below. Items receiving QA codes C, E, G, or X require submittal. Code G may also be used on items classified GA. Code X may also be used on items classified as DA, CR, DACR, or DAGA. RMS recognizes when an item was previously submitted and is being resubmitted. The transmittal for the resubmitted item will retain the same number as its original transmittal except that its original resubmittal status will be identified by a decimal point followed by the iteration number. While it's possible to change a number, it is recommended that it not be changed. When an item is selected for resubmittal, RMS will not allow the transmittal to include any other item except those that were on the original submittal. When a new or never submitted item is selected, RMS will not allow inclusion of any previously submitted items, including those requiring submittal. To complete a resubmittal, follow the instructions in the submittal process as previously described in this tutorial. In summary, we discuss how to create and complete a transmittal, how to complete a transmittal that has been returned for corrections, as well as provided information on resubmittals. As a reminder, follow your district policy before proceeding with any submissions of transmittals or applying QC codes. Working closely with your government representative will ensure a smooth and simplified process. If there are any technical issues that occur within RMS, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.